Hey, what's up? If you're watching this video, you are on the channel about practical fashion. Today we're gonna talk about black color, especially black color during winter time. But before that, please follow me on Instagram, on YouTube, um, ask me questions if you have any in comments below. I would really appreciate any feedback. And that's pretty much it. Really happy to see you again, guys. Black color, coming up. So I'm gonna try to post way more videos now because I'm bored and it's winter time and also I have a lot to tell you. But before that, can you please subscribe to my channel and um, follow me on Instagram, please? Anyways, if you will, you're gonna hear and see a lot of good content about practical fashion because I post on Instagram now from Monday through Friday, all cool, cool stuff. Um, yeah, so it's fun. Let's say connected. Anyways, let's switch to black color. Why I decided to make this video in the first place? Because it's really cold in Chicago right now. So that means that I'm gonna see a lot of North Face black puffers outside. So I need to tell you this one little secret. Black color does not look good on everybody. You need to have really high contrast to look good in black color. And what I mean under high contrast, well, it has nothing to do with your complexion, but it has, it has everything to do with your hair, eyebrows, lips, and eyes. So if you're naturally blonde with uh, gray or blue eyes, you probably don't look so good in black color. Most of the times, not everybody. Um, that's number one. Number two, black color creates um, high contrast itself with anything you would wear. So let's say if it's yellow and black, like right here, um, yeah, it just draws attention and creates this contrast. If you don't wanna necessarily do that in everyday life, um, if you wanna keep, you know, more like low key. Also black color shows all imperfections. So that means that your wrinkles, dark, dark circles, dark circles, dark circles, guilty as charged, that's me, um, pimples or any discoloration on your face, it's gonna pop out and it's gonna look kinda brighter and out, more outstanding. Also, a lot of people think that black color would make them thinner, skinnier, slimmer, but uh, if you're gonna go with total look, no matter if that's black, brown, gray, red, purple, you would still have the same effect or effect. I need to Google that word, I always forget. So anyways, head to toe, any color, as long as that's the same shade, it's gonna create the same um, optical illusion, pretty much, would make you look taller and skinnier. It's not only black color. And last but not least, black color is not easy to take care of. With the time, eventually it loses jet black color, the deep, nice color. And especially if you would pair it with um, black skirt, for example, black's not gonna match. That happens a lot too, and it looks cheap, and it doesn't look so good. So those are only a few things you guys usually don't think before wearing black color. But how do we fix it? How do we look good in black color? How we just go for it? So let me actually check in my black notebook that I keep notes and I just wanna tell you as much as I can in as short period as I can. So number one, as I said, uh, you need to have contrast. If naturally you don't have that, apply makeup. Make your eyebrows pop. Um, so you need mascara, eyebrows, lips, and fix your uh, skin tone. So that would make your black turtleneck look, look way better on you. Number two, older you get, lighter you go. So let's say if you can wear black in your 20s, um, do not do the same thing in your 50s. Um, with the time, our skin tone is obviously, it's not, you're not getting younger and it's totally fine. Um, but older you get, brighter you go. So instead of black, use dark gray. That pretty much it, easy fix, but you would look younger, fresher, um, and that just 
this is just like basic rule that really works, I promise you. Just keep that in mind. Like we have this idea that younger you are, brighter, brighter colors you're supposed to wear, but in the reality, younger you are, go after black, total black looks. They're really cool, they're in fashion, I love them and they look better on you. Like you don't, you don't need to make as many efforts and to apply as much makeup. Number three, instead of going after a black color, and I get it guys, a lot of you don't wanna think how to pair colors, how colors work, and it's basic information and I'll make a video on this too. So like it's not as difficult as it seems, but I understand why a lot, especially a lot of men go after like old black look. But in the reality, as I said, black color creates more contrast. It doesn't look as good for everyday life. So if you are not that like fleshy, bright person, you want something more, you know, um, serious, I guess, go after different color. So switch from black into dark gray, as I said, navy blue, it's really good color, it looks really good on most of the uh, faces and like most of the appearances. Uh, burgundy and dark brown. Those four will make way better work, they would look better, they look good together, and they're not creating as high contrast. Also, basic rule that probably all the stylists know, so that's why I'm sharing, guys, so you can use it and apply in real life. Um, so black color is really powerful as long as it's close to your face. So if I have turtleneck, shirt, sweater and there is nothing else here just my face and that jet black color it would influence my face a lot um but if there is this barrier or like i'm using uh either scarf or accessory or something that actually looks good with my natural colors black color um is not working as aggressively no more so if you have the black uh, buffer that is just plain and square, use nice scarf or use nice hat. Hat and scarf doing the job, especially as long as you're outside, it's closer to your face, you look good. Last but not least, so if you have this sweater was cut out and you can show your first layer, this first layer is gonna be closer to your face. So you want this layer to be lighter and that would influence your face the most because that's the first and last thing that the person would see and it just, again, illusion how we, uh, how we see and percept what we see. So that first layer should be either lighter or look good on you. Let's say mix green with your black sweater, green t-shirt, black sweater, that would look much better than just black sweater. Yeah, that's really good rule. You can also use, as I said, accessories, shirt that would uh, come out of your sweater as your first layer, any kind of blouse, anything you wanna use to show that contrasted color or you know lighter color. Also, one more thing, use textures. If you like black color, but it doesn't look as good on you, go with different textures. Black color would not be as aggressive. So what I'm saying is that see-through uh, leather, vegan leather, suede, um, velvet, that all not gonna be as aggressive in black as just plain fabric. Also, if you're going with total black looks, um, mix your textures, mix your materials, it would make you look upgraded, more stylish, you're gonna look better. This rule about black color does not apply in one situation. Let's say if you have a um, little black dress and it has either a really deep decollete or open shoulder look. So we still have black color close to our face, but uh, we have a lot of skin. So that means that black color would not be as aggressive, would not influence our face as much. This was it about black color. There are way more rules and there are way more solutions how to make black color work for you, not against you, but at least start from this. And I promise that would make your life much easier. You would look better, especially during the winter time. I really hope it was practical 
it would help you. Um, let me know actually guys, if you have any questions or suggestions or if this was not practical at all, let me know what you expect, what information and um, if you generally were in love black color because I feel like the black color is such a thing right now and generally fashion thing. I also um, cover some stuff on Instagram. I post about fashion, my stories every day, every business day from Monday through Friday. So follow me there. Um, and I just really hope to be a bit helpful and to share this cool information with you guys. Have a nice, lovely day and see you next time. See you next week. And um, I would hope to make these videos as much fun and as much information as I can. Bye.